Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel for another Sadie Stickers mystery kit reveal. So excited about this one, you guys. This is the first fall collection with the mystery kits. And not only are the mystery kits some of my favorites, but Sadie Stickers fall kits are some of my favorites. And so the combination of the two is just amazing. And she already has the mood board out for the August one. And so I can tell you right now, that one's also going to be absolutely stunning. So we're going to go through the July mystery. And then at the very end of this video, I will put the mood board for August today as I'm filming this. And I actually plan to hopefully get this up maybe this evening. <laughs> we'll see. Um, it's July 17th. So you have until July 25th to subscribe and get the August kit. You cannot get it July anymore um, unless somebody's destashing it somewhere, but um, you can still sign up for August. So I will share that at the end of this video. But before I dive into this, I am just going to say a quick hello in case you are new here. My name is Cassie and I clearly do all these planner things. <laughs> um, absolutely love this community and um, stickers, stationery, all of those things just makes my heart so happy. So um, I have lots of different videos on my channel. If this is your first one that you're seeing, I also um, share my mystery kit from Sadie Stickers, Simple Paper Co. Um, those are the main two that I'm subscribed to right now. So I say, or I share those on here every month. Um, but I also have other haul videos where I share all my other purchases and plan with me's and shop with me's and all of that kind of stuff. So if you are interested, feel free to scroll down and see my other videos and join me for those. But without any further ado, let's start looking at this beautiful July kit, you guys. Okay, so this is the vellum. I do have, I just wanna point out here in the background, this is my, if you can see it here, my Dear Emmy um, desk mat. It is all leather and it's absolutely gorgeous. This is Sadie Sticker's other company, um, her and her husband, their daughter's name is Emma. And so they have this little Dear Emmy um, leather goods company now. You can pick your um, stitching and your leather color and they have so many and they keep adding more, um, which is dangerous for my pocketbook, but absolutely exciting. So um, the background here, um, just covering up my white desk is this beautiful. Um, this is ballerina slipper, I believe. It's not showing up quite true to color on this video. However, if you are also in the market for a desk mat, um, I did share this in one of my haul videos. I don't think it's posted yet, but um, I did share this. It's absolutely incredible. So a little side note about that because it is sort of related. Um, this is the vellum. So if you get the decorative subscription, so there's two different subscriptions, right? You've got your weekly and then your decorative. The decorative comes with this vellum. The weekly does not. So if you're only subscribed to one, you will either get the vellum or you won't. Um, I am subscribed to both, so I am super fortunate that I get to have both of these every single month. Um, and I just love the vellums that she puts together every single month. They always match the kit theme and the florals and they're just gorgeous. So I'm gonna leave it as a beautiful backdrop here. Let's do this backwards this time. I say backwards because typically I do the weekly kit first. Let's do the decorative kit first and then we'll do the weekly kit, okay? All right, so this is on washi paper. Like my other videos, if you've watched them, you know I love washi paper. I will spare you my gushing over it, but it is my favorite paper type right now for my Tomo River paper notebooks. This first sheet here is our flower sheet. You've got just a bunch of, let me hold it this way because you can see it more on the screen. You've got a bunch of different like PC florals, some gorgeous fall leaves. This one is the edges, so it has the bigger bouquets that are, um, you know, cut with a flat edge for you. You can see that very well. Hopefully my camera's focusing. This is the bouquet page, so you've got all of these gorgeous fall bouquets. Just really, really stunning. Love these. I just, I'm obsessed with this whole color palette, the florals. It is just a perfect quintessential fall kit. These are the corners, so all of these, um, and then this is just like an edge in the middle, I believe. Yeah, this is like one long edge, um, but you've got four corners. So you can stick those in the corner of your notebook, obviously. <laughs> um, borders, so you've got these two really long, gorgeous, thick floral bouquet um, like strips. And then in the middle, she's filled it in with a bunch of PC florals. Just so, pre so pretty. All right, and then these are the dates and dots. So you've got um, one, you always have one that has like the floral pattern, one that's in one of the colors from the kit, and then one that doesn't have anything. It's just a clear backing. And then these gorgeous little dots, which I'm obsessed with. So you could use these 
and put the number over it. I think that's probably what it's intended for. Um, these, I really love to pull in behind light icons or add a little splash of color. Um, I don't typically use them with these. Well, so far I haven't um, because I want to use them for other things because I love them so much. All right, and then we have our days of the week. You get five full weeks worth. Two of them always have some of the florals from the kit. One has nothing, and then two have like a highlighter through them. I do love this script too. All right, this is the paper strips. So these are a bunch of different size torn paper strips. This one has kind of like a craft paper look. Oh, I love that color. Um, some torn tape looks, and then like just different shapes and edges. Sorry, am I getting too close? There we go. Oh, look at these scenes, you guys. They're so pretty, <laughs> so pretty. All right, this is the box swatches. So you always have two that are like the longer with a floral um, that would kind of go, you know, either if you're using it widthwise, you could use it vertically too. Um, but it would kind of go almost across like two box widths of it. And then you have these beautiful scenes. Typically the scenes mimic what's in the kit and we'll see that shortly. Look at that. Makes me wanna go like walk in the park in the fall. Really need to get to the mountains this year. Um, the mountains in the fall here in North Carolina are so beautiful. And actually in October, I get to go to New York for my cousin's wedding and I love fall in New York. That's like my favorite. So um, I'll be really excited to go and see all the pretty leaves in October this year. Okay, I don't typically go up there until like the end of November and everything's not pretty anymore at that point. So I'm really excited that this year I have an excuse to go up in October, even though that means I will be up there. I have to go up once in September, once in October, and once in November. September, we're moving my son back. October is a wedding and November will be Thanksgiving. So yeah. Okay, side note about Cassie's busy life. <laughs> this sheet is the deco sheet. I love these sweaters. Oh, and that tree. Look at the kitty. He looks so real, doesn't he? And that cute little deer and the pumpkins. And then this gorgeous scene here. I think this is the same. Yeah, it's the same scene as this, but it has like a frame around it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then you've got more like on the bottom here. That's really pretty. And then these are the washi swatches. These are the long ones. And then these are the short ones. I also love these so much. Okay. So that's the decorative kit. Again, that comes with a vellum. So if you are somebody who is more into like creative journaling and planning and not maybe a traditional weekly kit, um, this would be an option that you would probably prefer because you've got, you know, you don't, you're not kind of constrained to the typical like weekly kit format. So, um, and this, I will say I have been able to get like, and that, this is with me being very, you know, like, um, not stingy with my stickers two weeks and a monthly in my, um, which planner is it in? This one? No, hang on. I think that one's over on my nightstand, so I'm not going to pull it out right now. <laughs> yeah, that one's all the way across the room. Oh, I just lost all my happy mail. Hold, please. Okay, nothing was damaged in that falling pile while I looked for my notebook. Um, if you could see my desk on the side, you would understand the crazy that my desk looks like right now. I'm getting ready to film a haul, and I have so much happy mail. Um, so yeah, there's huge stacks and I did not stack those very strategically. So anyway, what I was saying was I can get at least in my social media planner. So, um, this is another dear Emmy cover, by the way, just plugging it in here. Um, so in the style, like a week's size planner, um, I have, this is actually a decorative kit from a subscription as well. I'm really loving those. Um, but I was able to do like a whole monthly, um, in that planner and, two weeks and still have leftover. So I think the main thing that I ran out of, and it's probably because of the way that I plan, um, was the deco. So um, I would love to see more deco. I think that Alicia might be reformatting some of this. I think next month's mystery might have some new format stuff if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I would love more deco because I feel like that's what I run out of in these um, kits here that would prevent me from like making it stretch further the way that I like to plan, but you could totally, I mean, I know she's got five weeks in here. You could totally make this last for four or five weeks, depending on how um, overboard you are with your stickers. I'm a little too overboard, um, but I was able to get at least two in there and a monthly. So just putting that in there in case you're wondering like how far would this stretch? It does depend on your planning type, but um, you can definitely make this stretch a good ways. All right, you guys, you know, I love the foil weekly kits. I've like seriously contemplated like because I haven't done as much memory planning lately. Like, should I just be 
doing journaling? Like, is that where I'm going? Is that where I'm headed? But then I see weekly kits with a beautiful foil and I'm like, no, I still love these and I want that in my life. So I'm not ready to just switch completely to journaling. Um, I do love memory planning, but I've really started to love journaling too. So, you know, stay tuned in my journey of planning here and we'll see where I land. Okay, let's go through this with each box because this is just too good to like skip over. This one up here, I... I just love the way she layered this. It's so good. You've got that beautiful like fall scene and then she's got like the torn paper, some florals, the little like tape swatch and then the foiled um, pine cone and leaf like just so well done. I love that and of course our like this almost could be like a Thanksgiving-ish. It kind of reminds me of Thanksgiving with the pumpkin pie and all that but also like just any day, any fall day um, but I feel like if you got this mystery kit you could totally use it for Thanksgiving too. Um, you've got your floral boxes of course this adorable kitty sitting on the post with the leaves blowing around him like stop it and the and the branches I love that I wonder if she has these in the shop I haven't seen them yet I'm gonna have to ask her maybe she's bringing those for like a foil Tuesday but those would be so fun to have wouldn't they this is in rose gold foil by the way it's a little bit hard to tell with my lighting um I feel like sometimes my hauls are better when I do them at night because I have like sunshine and lights I feel like maybe it's too much Okay, quote box says, fall is sweater weather, crunchy leaves, and pumpkin everything. I agree. Uh, you got those cute little sweaters and the little box of pumpkins with some foiled leaves. This beautiful scene. Look, look how she did that. Like the sun is shining through because you can see that there. Like it's so perfect. Oh, Alicia, that's amazing. I love that. And then the fall like leaves scattered that are foiled. And then the deer with a little foiled stump. I love it. These I think are in the shop. I think I have some of those. So if you wanted those to match, they're probably on, yeah, they're on the foil add-on. Spoiler alert. We'll look at those in a minute. Okay. So this is page one. Page two, we have our boxes page with just tiny little bits of foil on here. I feel like I've spoken about this format ad nauseum and it is um, being updated. I don't know exactly what it looks like yet because Alicia likes to surprise us too, even on the PR team. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I do PR for the shop in case I didn't mention that. Um, you cannot use my code on the mystery kits, but you can use my code on other things. It's Cassie20, um, and I do have a freebie. Right now it is a summer freebie, so um, probably should switch it to fall soon, but I really loved so much of her fall, um, like foil deco, that I went with it, or fall, her summer. My gosh, you guys. Okay. Anyway, it's a summery one, but we're all behind in planning anyway, right? So get your summer freebie. <laughs> it's pretty. Um, okay, so this is our page three, which has a little bit more of like our functional like boxes or headers, I'm sorry, and then some of like the torn paper boxes. And then page four, look at this bottom washi. I love this pattern, this like foiled maple leaf. I just love that. It fits perfectly with the vibes of this kit. I love this like mustard color, the whole color palette. You guys, I'm just, I'm just in love with this whole thing. You get another little kitty cat. And then a little smaller tree. So this is a little bit smaller. So this is another reason why I like having both. Um, let me see if I can find the other one in my pile here. Um, the deco in the decorative kit is a little bit different size than some of this deco she has in here. So I like having the different sizes because with this being on washi paper, it is saturated enough that I would use this with my weekly kit, whereas typically the transparent, it would the color saturation, um, and this isn't anybody's fault, it's just the type of paper would be um, not quite like, it didn't match as well, I feel like. So I like that the washi paper, like look, it, it pretty much looks like the same exact colors, but like you can see the trees are different sizes, the kitties are different sizes. So I really love that, um, having both of them because I could potentially pull in ooh, some of that decorative um, into my weekly spread as well. So it gives me options, which I'm a big fan of. So that's the four page base kit. And then she always gives you a million add-ons, I feel like, in the mystery. So you always get a foiled add-on. Sometimes it's long and thin with like washi strips. Sometimes it's like this quarter sheet size. Um, this one, look at the tiny, like I love that these are like baby dividers. That's new. I haven't seen them this tiny before. I'm a fan, Alicia. I'm a fan. I do kind of like this because like I feel like we're not all using as many of like the header headers. And if I wanted to, I have the full length ones right here. But now I have little baby ones. Those will be perfect. Okay, so let me show you. Those would be perfect. Like, you know, I feel like on some of these smaller boxes, look, it like is the same width as one of these midi boxes. Um, or 
it's a little bit shorter on this one, but it's perfect for like if you have an icon over here and then you can put this right after it to line the box. Love that. And then you got a ton of different leaves and they all fall into this leaf pile, which is super cool. Leaf piles. All right, the deco sheet. And this deco, let's compare the size of this deco. Should have left that sheet out. I think this is, it's a little bit bigger. And you can see the color saturation is a little bit different. Like this is brighter than this. Um, this kitty seems to be the same size and the deer I think seems to be the same size with this tree. Mm, maybe it's the same. It looks slightly smaller to me. Does it look smaller to you? I don't know. Um, and these look slightly smaller on this one. These look about the same. So similar in size. Um, so you will always have this one as well that you can bring in and you get some big bouquets in here too. And then this is the journaling page. So many good things on here. Oh, I love that. Look at the little kitty. I just love him. So cute. Wow. Look at this floral deco sheet. Oh, showstopper. That's gorgeous. I'm obsessed. How many times have I said that in this video? I don't know, but I love it. And then you always get your alcohol ink swatches, which she does give you on transparent. I love that she now does that. Um, and I, I do wish you can pick up more floral deco after the mystery kit has been like shipped and everybody's gotten it, but I don't think you can get more alcohol ink. I may send her that suggestion. I wonder if we could pick up more alcohol ink after because I would totally pick up another one of these sheets because now I'm like, do I use it in my weekly or do I use it with my decorative kit? I would love to have a second one, maybe a third one even. Um, so it'd be nice if there was an option to pick up alcohol ink swatches if you happen to be watching Alicia. If you're not, I'm gonna message you anyway and annoy you in the PR chat and tell you that I would love that. So that's everything for the weekly kit. Let me know in the comments too, would you like to be able to pick up the alcohol ink swatches as well after, just like you can with the florals? Let me know. Okay, so that's weekly kit, absolutely stunning. Decorative kit, in love, obsessed, cannot wait to see August. So I will put that at the end of this video, but that's gonna conclude our July mystery walkthrough. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for always watching these videos. Sometimes I'm like, do people even wanna see this? Am I just wasting my time? But then you guys always give me so much love and um, I just love being a part of this community and love getting to interact with you guys. So if you're ever sick of these videos, let me know. But until you tell me that, I'm gonna keep posting these because I love them. I love Alicia at Sadie Stickers and I am just honored to be on her team and to be able to share all these goodies and yeah, just enjoy this hobby. So thank you all so much. If you like this video, don't forget to, don't forget, I can't talk. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you want notifications for my videos drop. I'm kind of random right now. So if you would like a notification to remind you or tell you, um, feel free to turn on that um, or ring the little bell or whatever it is. I don't know, y'all. Um, do whatever you gotta do so that you know that my videos are coming. And uh, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel as well. So thank you all. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.